everyone, it is Shar from Shar's Fascination. Now, I know I've showed you this poncho before, but I didn't show it to you with the hood on. Woohoo! Finally, I got the hood on. And it has drawstrings, so does it close? Absolutely. Will it close even further? Yes, of course it will. So, my friend that I made this for does get it. It closes. There you go. <laughs> so, a hood can be a difficult thing to sew if you don't know what you're doing. So, as you can see, the patterns are going in a different direction. And I cut this so that it was at a curve right here. If you can see that. Don't know if you can, but I'm pretty sure you get it. It's cut on a curve and this is cut this way at an angle. So this is going to be very warm and cozy and it's got the pockets right here. Now they don't go all the way through, but they're right here. The other thing I was going to do is put a pocket on the inside of the sleeve, but now I'm thinking that might make the coat a little lopsided if I do that. So, um, I think, should I put an extra here? I could always put an extra kangaroo pocket on the front, but it's the simple fact is I already have the seaming on the side done. And that makes it a little harder to do that. Now, the other thing I can do is just hand sew one on. Now, hand sewing, depending on your skills of hand sewing, I know, this is just so cool, right? And then the back of it is longer than the front on purpose. So, you can just look at it. <laughs> yeah, I have all my fabric right here. Um, now, I did cut some of this fabric from for Chris from Kicking It With Chris. So, I didn't cut all of these. Is a, that box right there. <laughs> that box right there. Yeah, that. Um, I just have to cut some Batman fabric for her youngest, Louie. <laughs> And uh, yeah, it should be easy for me to remember his friend or his name because I have a friend named Luisito. So yeah, it should be easy for me to remember his name. Um, love my earrings from Mona G. Thank you, girl. Oh, Mona, hold on, hold on. Can she watch this, Mona? Your bracelet. You probably wanted to be surprised. Well, surprise! I gotta just like bend that one piece back. For some reason, it got bent weird. Just have to take the tools and tool it back. But I did want to show this finished piece to you. Um, now, my friend, she doesn't necessarily like the closed sleeve arm. I'm not necessarily one to have it around my wrist too much. So I always, I'm always going like this. I'm a short sleeve person. Now, Rocco from Roaming with Rocco texted me earlier and said he got a great review on his tattoos. Well, thank you um, for those great reviews on. Because um, I used to do that and now I can't anymore due to epilepsy. I'm not gonna let that get me. Um, I have I have other skills, as you can see. I have other skills. Um, so, and I'm not gonna let people get me down now. I have too much to do. Now, my other thing that I'm gonna do today is knock out some stuffies using the sewing machine. Now, I do have the fluffy material that I can use, and then I have some scrap fabrics that you know. I said I was going to use up those scrap fabrics to make some stuffies. So why the heck not, right? Might as well use it up. So 
Let me take this off. This is warm. This is, this is, she's going to feel like she's wearing a blanket, <laughs> which is like the best thing. Like you could be lounging around, having your tea or coffee, and you're all comfy cozy. Um, <laughs> now if I had more of this fleece material, I would make one for Nicole from Sun City Soaps and Candles. I have to get some more material like this. Or the same kind of material, not the pattern. Um, obviously, I can't find this pattern anymore. I it just can't. Um, maybe they don't make this pattern anymore. Or there's no one around here that actually sells it. Now, what I did for the drawstrings. Easy peasy. It's called shoestring. I always use shoestrings as my drawstring. It makes sense rather than using bias tape or ribbon and these actually last longer and they're inexpensive so you can actually make a garment on a budget and um, you can also I know my hair looks like crapitola you can also um, well Put it this way like my singer heavy duty 4452 now that costs some money but i saved up um and that's actually an investment my fabrics are an investment um all of my fabrics but if you can get something let's say like the hobby lobby i know chris Checking it with Chris. You guys probably don't have a hobby lobby there, and I feel for you, and that's horrible. Um, Ecuador needs to step up their game for taking care of their people. I'm not stripping, I'm just taking this off. So, um, but yeah, I mean, I'm gonna take my scraps and make, um, and look at the seaming on the hood. This is just the hood, but look at the seaming. It's nice. Um, and oh my gosh, I can't wait to show this to her tonight. We video call at night on um, Saturdays. But um, yeah. Whoa, that was warm. But <laughs> Guess that, that thing is like wearing a blanket. Um, what did I cut for Chris for fabric? I used this one and obviously I still have enough left on here for something. Um, have plenty left on here. Now when you see them like this, you don't necessarily think of how are they this way when they're unlaid. So when you unlay a fabric, you're getting twice the amount. So this is rolled. If it was unrolled like this, okay. Now count that as twice when it's unrolled and unfolded. That is a good amount of fabric. Okay, so I use these two. I use this one. I cut her some of this one. I cut her some of this one here. This nice stretchy fabric here. Um, I cut her some of this gingham and then I put this gingham on here instead of putting it back in the drawer. And then I cut her some of this gingham. Uh, and this one is pre-lined, so that's good. That's always good to have a pre-lined fabric. Now, this one right here. I love this one. I do. I, I just think... It's a nice light fabric. I didn't cut this, but that's because somebody else said that they want something made with dark blue. And I have the dark blue and I said, it doesn't it matter if there's some green on it. And it said, no, it doesn't matter. Oh, before I forget. Chris, this is going with your stuff. <laughs> that's right um so like I said scrap fabric 
how much scrap fabric do I have? A lot of scrap fabric. I can make this into a stuffy today. How about that? Um, let's see. That can be used to stuff the stuffy. There's not enough here to make a stuffy, but you know, just the scraps of this can be used to make a stuffy or stuff the stuffy. There's enough here to make a stuffy out of one piece and use the rest of it so nothing goes in a landfill. I'm all about, I know that was weird, I'm all about using as much as I can and not putting back in the landfill. Like, I can make a funny character out of this and um, fabric doesn't have to go in the landfill. Or, because I have enough of this left, although I was going to use this for undies, but I don't necessarily have to, and there is enough here for me to make a pair of undies for myself, but um, I don't necessarily have to. And instead of making this piece into a pair of undies, which would actually fit me, um, I can make a stuffy out of it, a little striped stuffy, and that would be cool. Would absolutely be cool, but I can also stuff a stuffy with that. So, yeah, actually stuff a stuffy with it. So that would be not a bad idea to to do that. And the only reason, like I said, that I do that is so things don't go back in the landfill. And you know, we need to do a reduction of what do we throw away compared to what can we make into something else for someone else. Your kids may have a friend that's having a birthday coming up. Make that kid a stuffed animal. Even if you don't have a sewing machine, you don't need a sewing machine to make a stuffed animal. Please, sew by hand. Oh, and another thing for kicking it with Chris, a set of sewing needles. I'm starting you out with sewing needles and um, some thread. I'll toss some thread in for you. Um, and a measuring tape. I'm giving you a measuring tape. So, that goes for Chris. Look, over there in Ecuador, they don't got what we got. So, I'm going to be generous. What's this one? Okay, I'm going to toss in one of these, toss in one of these. These are both different sizes, so if you want to make something with drawstrings, um, that goes to the second winner. Um, now, you might wonder about, like, well, why aren't you including the first winner in on this? I gave them things last year. Oh. And here you go, Chris. Full thing of thread. Now this one has two black thread here and the two white threads here. This is navy blue, obviously brown. You, you're not colorblind. <laughs> or if you are, you'll figure it out because somebody else will tell you what color they really are. Um, I have friends that are colorblind. Uh, girl, I'm hooking you up. From Sin City Sips and Candles to your fabric needs. And um, now I'm going to need my zippers, though. You're not, you're not able to do the zipper thing yet until you practice. So, yeah, get some practice in. Trust me, it helps. So, um, yeah. Oh, let me throw this in real quick measuring tape. You're like, goodness, what all are you giving me? Trust me, girl. Be thanking me for this later. Well, you already have, but yeah, I'm just saying. 
you already have. Trust me, um, Chris from Kicking It With Chris already thanked me for being generous. And you know what? Generosity does not hurt. When you're generous to other people and they really show their gratitude for your generosity of helping them out. I mean, not everybody is kind enough to show generosity towards other people that have helped them. But, uh, yeah, absolutely. And, uh, you know, it's a great thing to do, but uh, helping other people. So always keep that in mind when you help somebody else. Don't always expect them to be grateful because there's a lot of people out there that aren't grateful. Um, but that there are some still grateful people out there in the world for when you do something for them, they at least show you respect. I think I have the red on me. There you go. Um, but yeah. And I want everybody out there to stay happy, stay healthy, stay positive, and as always, stay blessed. You know why? Because I'll see you guys later.